Welcome to another version of Slow Mo Mondays. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. We are going to be doing chair three ways. Hopefully one of those ways supports you and your wonderful body just as it is right now. Let's get started. For our first version of chair, we're going to do it from our mat or the floor. I'm going to bring my feet wider than hip distance apart. I'm going to bring my hands up to my hips. My knees are soft but strong. I'm open across my chest. My shoulders are back and down. And then I'm going to send my booty back like I'm going to be sitting on a high stool as I softly bend my knees. My torso is still staying upright. My chest is still open. My shoulders are still back and down. I'm going to stay right here for a moment and check in with my stance. If I like it here and I'd like some more sensation, I might opt to bring my hands to heart center. I might opt to bring them out and splay out my fingers like cactus arms. I might opt to bring my arms forward like I'm receiving a beautiful gift. Or I might opt to bring them all the way up to the sky. You decide. And when you're ready, press into your feet, come all the way back up, let your arms float down if they were lifted, and breathe. Version number two, a chair in a chair. <laughs> I'm going to scooch forward on the, towards the edge of my chair. I might move some flesh out of the way so my booty's really rooting down into my chair. I'm going to heel toe my feet out wide. I'm going to lift up all of my toes and place them back down on the floor. So I'm really getting that gripping action here with my feet. I'm sitting up tall. My shoulders are back and down. The crown of my head is shining up toward my ceiling. I'm going to bring my hands to my hips, pressing into my feet. And then I'm going to lean my torso forward. And I might stay right here. Same options as before to bring your hands to heart center, out into cactus, out to receive that beautiful gift, or up to the sky. You decide. Find your version of seated chair. You may want to bring the corners of your mouth up to your cheeks, settle in, and then slowly let it fall down. Beautiful. Our last option today is a chair at the wall. The wall is an awesome prop, awesome tool. I use it all the time in my practice. So find a place on your wall where you're not going to knock anything off. I am about a foot away from my wall. I'm going to bring my hands up to my hips. I'm going to lift up all of my toes and place them back down on the floor, really getting that gripping action, just like we do in all three versions of this pose. I'm going to have soft knees, and then I'm going to send my booty back, finding my wall. So I'm going to rest my booty on the wall, find that place that feels comfortable for my body, and then I'm going to find out what I'd like to do with my arms. I do that by testing it out. I keep them on my hips for a moment, see how that feels. If I decide I want more sensation, I might bring them up to my chest, hands at heart center, bring them out wide into cactus, bring them forward like I'm receiving that beautiful gift with my shoulders back and down, or all the way up to the sky. Settle in, listen to your body communicating with you. That might look like a quickening of the breath. That might look like building heat. That might look like your quads starting to talk to you. Just gather up that information and respond with loving kindness. Bring your hands back to your hips if you're not already there. Press into your feet. Take your booty off the wall. And there, you've done it. Three versions of chair, just for you today. Thanks for joining Slow Mo Mondays. If you'd like more, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for being here, y'all. See you next week.